Check every two weeks. End of discussion. Oh boy. Not even a knock? I could have been undressing. And who knows what I would have had to do to you. You're here to see Her Royal Majesty Queen Victoria, aren't you? Therese is out making a show of how well her lips fit on the pants seat of the Camarilla. Did you happen to find her chastity belt or something? So... Therese told me you might be back with something for her. Do you have it with you? I'm not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, my sisters made me out to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? She's always belittling me. She's the smart one. She's the favorite. She's the successful one. Well, it's not fair. I'm not a fool. This club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers. Do you understand what it's like to have your own flesh and blood ripping you apart on a daily basis for two lifetimes? Can you... Fine, you hold on to it. Hmm, since you are so willing to brave that big spooky place for my darling sister, how about doing a teensy tiny favor for little troubled me? Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. 
lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk. I thought we went over this. Therese isn't here. Until he hears it from her, Bertram's like a windshield in the deep blue sea. Invisible. <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught, and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something velvet. Pretty please, for me. I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. Oh, and there was something about the paintings. Hmm, what was it? I can't remember. Oh well, have fun, duckling. Hey, hold on a minute there. I'm afraid you're committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Huh? What call are you talking about there, Chief? And who might you be then, Chief? Hey, well, just taking one look at you, I'd say there's a lot of money in that line of work. Me, security's in my blood. My father, father's father, my six brothers, <laughs> yeah. We're all real keen on upholding the law, like a family of Magnum P.I. Look, uh, I'll let you in, but I'll be filing a 62A on this when I get back to the security station after my shift, hey, just so you're aware. Yeah, 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 that's right. I mean, who wouldn't file a 45B, huh? Everyone knows about 45B. Anyway, uh, go ahead on in and uh, you have yourself a nice night.
Hey, baby. Looking for a date? For you, honey? 50 American dollars. Best money you'll ever spend. I promise. I promise you won't regret it. Mm. Let's go somewhere more intimate. You lead the way. Okay, honey, let's see what you got. Okay, honey, let's see what you got. What were you thinking? The museum. That was my event. Did you think I wouldn't find out? Shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture. But nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others. But how dare you! Don't lie to me! Jeanette already confessed she tricked you into doing it. It was probably all Tung's idea. I'll deal with them later. But that's still no excuse for you ruining my museum. Excellent. I'll take that. However, Jeanette claimed you did it for her. But let's say I believe you. 
After all, you've acted decently and rationally up to now. I imagine you'd still like me to call off the feud. There's only one problem. If Tung gets word that I threatened Jeanette, which he most certainly already has, it's not likely he'll believe me. So, in order to call off the feud, you're going to have to convince Jeanette to forgive me first. I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously, and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her, and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner, to reconcile. But I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. I want to see my sister. Yes, I'll call it off once I've spoken with her myself. Just do what I ask. Nice night out, huh? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Looking for a date? Mm. Let's go somewhere more intimate. You lead the way. Not here. It's too public. We need our privacy, sugar. Okay, honey. Let's see what you got. I'm 
Come out, 